And welcome back to Let's Play Dark Souls 3. My name is Alex. I am Silvermont. And let me show you something real quick. How long has this been? How long has this Let's Play been going? Like, I don't know, 20 hours or something by now? I, something like that. Let, let's round down to 20 hours approximately. But uh, yeah, let's see how much time I've got played on this character. 61 hours. And I promise you, at least. Oh. Okay. You know what? That's absolutely fine. Let's continue. Yeah. As I was saying, at least 30 hours has been kind of sitting here in Anolondo doing... Well, I'll show you what I've been doing, shall I? I've been farming... Proof of a Concord kept, or whatever it's called, and I actually forgot the rest of the bonfire. But yeah, so if you don't know about the covenant system in Dark Souls 3, they are well, they're covenants. You rank up with them by offering them in hand ins. Although not every covenant has its own hand in. Some, you know, just don't have hand ins whatsoever, like the Way of Blue. But yeah, for the Dark Moon Blades, you need proof of a Concord kept. And how'd you get those? Well, primarily through invading, well, being summoned by a Way of Blue member who's in trouble. You can also get them from these guys. Uh, I think I had one in an earlier episode, like I got one. But, uh, yeah. So it takes a very long time to farm them from these guys. It also takes a really long time to get summoned. See the top left icon is flashing? That means we are ready to be summoned, shall we say. The rest is all automatic. But, um, yeah. So far I've got 27, I believe. And, I mean, not all of those, not all of the time spent has been doing that. I've been doing other covenants as well. But there was some of that in the last episode, like PvP stuff. But I just wanted to show you the farming method I was using. I basically run up here, do that, and then I go back down, and I leave the Covenant. What is that noise? Okay, it stopped. But I leave the Covenant on whilst doing that, and... Yeah, last episode I showed you what happens when you hand in 10 proof of a Concord kept. I really wanted to show you what would happen if you hand in 30 to get rank 2. I don't know what happens, because I've not done it, and I've not really been looking up anything on the internet until I finished this Let's Play. But, well, maybe I'm lucky and I've already handed a few extra in, but as far as I'm aware, we are three off. Because I've handed in 10 and I have 17, means we're at 27 and I need 30. The knights called the Blades of the Dark Moon punish the guilt of defenders of the gods and take this as proof of their conquest. The earless corpses of the guilty will be left behind as a warning to others, inspiring both fear and respect for the gods. And you can see I have half a million souls. Yeah, that's cause... Yeah, I've been doing this for so long. But um, it's also because... Actually, you know, I actually have more than that because I've spent loads of souls. I've probably made like a million souls doing this. But, you know, let's hand these in. Maybe we'll get lucky. Oh. Long ago, Nasa, but long ahead, um, off so soon, mate. Damn, well, still three off. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave the Covenant on whilst recording. If the invasions happen, you know, if the summonings happen, I'm, I'll either keep them or cut them out, depending on how boring or not they are, but... Because I... It's bugging the hell out of me. Most of the others are fairly easy to get. The ones that are hard to get are Wolf's Blood Swordgrass and the Concord Kepts. I've not done any of Rosaria's yet, but I only need six more. And the reason I'm doing that is so I can get the achievements for which you need every ring, every miracle, every sorcery, every pyromancy, and so forth. But yeah, let's, um... Oh, we'll continue soon, but first up I want to go... Here? Because I want to show you something real quick. Remember in, um, oh, 
two episodes ago, I think, I was talking about uh, the possibility of a Lothric civil war. Well, let's really quickly go back and have a look at that area where it seems something of a battle happened, which is just over here with the Winged Knight. Speaking of which, can we pull a Lothric Knight over here and will he be aggroed on the Blue Knight? Will they fight each other? Okay, it doesn't look like they can. But, you know what? Maybe... I don't know. I don't think that disproves the theory exactly. Okay, that killed him. But... Oh, they dropped Blessed Gems. That... Okay, that's really good. I didn't know they could drop that, but yeah. See? It looks like he's impaled with... I mean, look. That's a Lothric Knight Sword sticking out of him. That's a Lothric... Um, long spear that's gone straight through the neck and he's got like arrows or something sticking, but you, you know what I'm saying like it really looks like that's what's been going on here they've had a civil war and the blue knights have fought the red knights and look all this by a statue that is now in darkness whereas earlier it was in the light I don't know. I really think that's what's happened here though. Of course, if you have other ideas, please do share them in the comments. I'm not saying this is what happened, I'm saying this is what I believed happened. As I feel there's fairly good evidence for it. We could actually just run to where we want to go now, but I'm going to be lazy and teleport. It would, it would probably be faster to run. But considering I'm cutting out the loading, that will make that faster for you, if that makes sense. Because you don't get to see loading screens, because I cut them out. Because some of them are like 20, 30 seconds long. Oh, that counts as down here. Interesting. Let's go. Now, if you're really sharp-eyed... <laughs> that's like what she says, isn't it? That's... Saw him, did you, sharp eyes? But if you're sharp eyed, you'll probably notice the door's open now. Uh, that's because I was going to help a friend, but I couldn't put my sign down. And then he told me you have to actually open the door before you can put your sign down. So yeah, I opened the door, but honestly, you didn't miss much. Oh, okay, cool. I sit there for two hours and I get a single summon. And then as soon as I start recording, I get summoned. You know what, that's fine. Let's hope I manage to get three ears in this summoning, and then I can be done with this forever. God damn it. <sighs> Stuff like that has happened at least 10 times. I've been keeping track, and I can't tell you how annoying it is to wait like two hours or more to be summoned, and then as soon as you spawn in, the host dies. It's also quite annoying if, um, like, they, if they, um, you know, kill the invader before you get a chance to get over to them and get near. Like, if you, if they kill the invader as you're loading in, but yeah. Mostly it's annoying if they die. Well, yeah, remember the boss, the Crystal Sage, is his, her, its twin, because there's two Crystal Sages. Stop. Are you threatening me? Master Crystal Sage. It's treason, then. I'll try spinning. That's a good trick. Because, you know, I was spinning. I'm sorry if you didn't understand that reference. It was a pretty shitey reference. But yes, here we have the the Duke, not the Duke's archives, the Grand Archives, and there's quite a lot of uh, cool. Good job. There's quite a lot of hidden stuff in this area. I apologise if I miss it. I think I have found everything in this area, but I'm not a hundred percent on that. 
I'm sure I've missed stuff, and I'm sure I found stuff on my first playthrough that I'm going to miss on this playthrough. Because again, I've only been through here once and I'm very forgetful, especially when recording. I know you can get the Avalon in this area. Crystal Lizard! Stabbing! Yes! Yes! Give me a chunk. Don't give me this trash. Whatever, it's fine. I want chunks at this point. <laughs> ah! Good thing I was lock on spamming. I knew I knew there was a cheeky ambush around here somewhere. Soul of a crestfallen knight. More like not a chunk. I don't want it. Oh, I'll keep it. I should probably spend some of my souls. Seeing as I have many. Nice, another chunk. Yeah, I knew you were gonna do that. I'm not I'm not a fool. And we can move some of these bookcases. I remember there's a chest here. I think it has a I know you can get a really cool armor set in this place, but I think it's behind a hidden wall. Stabbing Yeah, so these dudes like dunk their head in uh wax. I, I'm not really sure. I think I might have an idea of what it does. At first I thought it would disguise you as one of them so they wouldn't hit you, but... Oh. Rude. It doesn't do that. I think it stops the... There's like a curse in this area and I think it prevents the curse from inflicting you. Now I know we can drop down around here somewhere... I don't actually need the Covetous Gold Serpent Ring on at the moment. I've been using the Hornet Ring for PvP. Yeah, I know. I just didn't carry spam. But, whoa! When you keep fighting cheeky Dark Sword spammers, you're only... I mean, okay, not your only. Your best course of action is just to bait a running attack and then parry those suckers. Because they never learn. Are you just going to keep doing that same attack over and over again? I don't care, dude. You're going to get backstabbed one way or the other. Also, they actually have less poison than the Silver Knights. That's interesting. But way more health. Stabbing. Yeah, I don't need Large Titanite, buddy. Oh, that's a cold breeze coming in through the window. Unpleasant. Upsetting. What's this? Trap? Crystal Chime. Oh, this really reminds me of Bergenworth. Bergenworth? More like... Burger King? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yep, there's the Avalyn. Oh, another chunk. A funky chunky. Mm. You'll notice I'm not using the mace anymore because I <laughs> kind of just stopped using it. Tell you what this. Cool. This dunk I had. Hi, hi, hi. Nice. It's fine. Let's see if I'm correct. Statue of nasty stuff. I don't like this room, it's too dark. Is it crystal lizards? Two or one? Two. Bum bum. Oh, okay. I think having the crystal on your head makes you immune to the books at all. Like, I thought they might still damage you but not curse you, but it looks like they don't. Oh, bugger, was there... Was there any hidden walls or anything in this room? This is probably the worst place ever to use the torch. Sorry, the worst way you could use the torch. Because you're meant to have the torch in your other hand so you can hold it up. But my other hands are busy. What's this? Hidden wall? Do it! Oh, I remember this. This moves a bookcase somewhere, doesn't it? Oh, where does it move it though? Up over here? 
Yeah, this must have been it. Do you think you can be a pot in my in my archives? What's this? Power within. Everyone loves power within. Forbidden pyromancy. Pyromancer fears the flame. However, the fear subsides once is once it is accepted as a substitute for strength. Yeah. You're a mimic. You're not a mimic, are you? You know, it would have been really nice to have the mimic head whilst farming these stupid knights, but I didn't. Witch's locks. I think that's a whip, if I remember correctly. A whip fashioned from the black hair of a daughter of the Witch of Isolith, creator of the Flame of Chaos. The long shining locks woven together. The long shining locks woven together to create this whip are imbued with the essence of fire, which can be channeled through the use of its skill. Whip! Pretty cool. I don't know if whips are any good in this game. Well, that's a pretty cool attack. You can't parry whips, so they might be good. I don't know, maybe, maybe whips are the way to go. At the moment, it's just spamming great sword uh, sorry not great sword straight swords uh i feel like i missed something back in the first room but i don't remember how to do it it might be something we have to go back to for hey buddy oh our wax has run off so now you can see we're taking damage and being cursed by these filthy books look you your library is rubbish, buddy. I hate it. I'm also going to respect this character as soon as I am able to join Rosaria's fingers. Which... Kind of, we can do now. But I don't know if Cirrus's quest... Oh, hello. I don't think her quest chain is finished yet. Because, you know, I feel like it would end when we get her armor or her weapon or something. No, you don't. I might be wrong in that. Mbasa. Dude, rude. What? No, you think this is allowed? Get down. Whoa. That's good. That's fine. A cheeky ambush. And then a wizard spammer and a real name request from some doofus. Which was actually their name. Oh, you've come back here, have you? You bastard. I forgot about you. I really wish you could just kill them here. Oh. Okay, that's fine, I guess. I wonder if I should put on a ring of sac... You know what? I'm going to put on a ring of sacrifice just in case, because I don't want to lose half a million souls. Is it doing it? I guess not. It, says, it said like being summoned, but then I guess it changed its... You... I'm going to pump you silly, you stupid thing. Yeah, I've not had too many unable to be summoned. Usually it's just, haha, I'm the host and I've uselessly died. Upsetting. Time for chest. Yeah, I know, but how do you move that thing? Oh, look, you. Stop it. Stop it. Now, where's that damn ladder? It's over here somewhere. Need to climb it. You got in the ladder, buddy? Nope. Where? the hell? Is it behind this thing? Can I get past these guys without them seeing me? Ah, shit. Dude, was that like a one-hit kill? With a counter thrust? Dude, nice. If so, ow, ow, wow! How come that dagger was so furious? So fast and furious? Oh. Butthead. God, where's that stupid ass ladder gone? I swear. 
It wasn't that, it should not be that hard to find. Here it is, behind this dude. You have an unreasonable amount of health. Or maybe the backstab just did an unreasonably low amount of damage. Look, don't, don't read my button inputs and don't be a turtling dickhead, dude. Oh, God. Good thing I wore that ring, huh? One of the few genuine complaints I have about this game is the stupid button input reading enemies. They just drive me insane. Because it's punishing you for doing what you're meant to be doing. Like, you're meant to kick their shields away, but they punish you for attempting that by instantly reacting the moment you hit the button. That's stupid. You don't do stuff like that. Like, yeah, maybe do it to punish someone who's just being greedy and spamming R1. But don't, you know, don't do it when someone's doing what they're meant to be doing. Is this even the right way? Where is that damn ladder? Maybe I should just try and parry this dork instead. Dude, I did kick the ladder down, didn't I? I'll try and parry him before you fail. Yeah. I'm not very good at parrying. It takes me a lot of practice and usually I don't bother practicing it. Oh, I don't want to- no, I don't want to- I really don't want to try and parry and fail against a bloody enchanted spear. It pretty much one-shot me. Ah, okay. Just the- oh, the, the enemies that do stuff like that in this game are stupid. Oh hey, he dropped me the great shield that I farmed half an hour to get and never got. So I bought one. Seriously, where the hell is that ladder? Oh whatever, I'll just go up the normal way, who even cares at this point? Life finds a way. Oh my partisan's somewhat damaged, I don't need to care about that guy. Dude, seriously, where does this stupid ass ladder lead? Oh, it was the first bit. There's the Avalyn, but I want to get my souls back first. God damn, bastard. That did literally nothing to me. I'm indifferent. There you are, you prick. Bastard backstabbed me. He like headstabbed me rather. What? There was another one? <laughs> Why was there another one? Oh, stop surviving with like 1% health. This is unreasonable. Oh, God damn it. Would you stop? I hate that sage. I'm going to burst him. Not now. He's just going to get pumped by my spear a bit now. Soon, I'm going to burst him. Now he's going to go over there, isn't he? Uh, I can teleport. Teleports behind you. Nothing personal, unkindled. Dude, dude, would you stop this nonsense? Ah, oh, give me that scale. Uh, let's try and get the Avalyn. How are you even bending your spells around these corners, dude? Whatever. Hey, the Avalyn. Kind of. It's not crap, but I don't like it. I mean, crossbows in general just aren't that good. Why use crossbows when you could use bows, which are better? Oh well. 
I'm sure from Soft are taking notes and not from this Let's Play, but in general they're taking notes and they're balancing things that need to be balanced. Nerfing straight swords. Because good golly, Miss Molly, are those great swords insane? He dropped a chunk, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna dunk my head. Try and stop me, you filthy sage. Titanite chunk, again, good. But we'll need some of these to upgrade our other weapon once I respec. Um, yeah, I'll take it. I guess you could say the boss of this episode is going to be this stupid ass sage. I guess he's more of a mini boss, but it's all good. I thought there was an Ultra Knight great dude guy. Okay, that's just that place. Maybe he's a bit higher up. What happens if I just shoot this stupid sage with crossbows? How are you even holding that sword with your unreasonably small body? You really shouldn't spray white stuff at random ladies. Okay, I think I can pretty much get over to him now anyway, but I'm curious. Oh, hello. What did I just say? Trigger warning. <laughs> There's a douchebag over here somewhere. That's the... yeah. As this helpful message points out. Oh, it's Fogwall. Cool, dude. Wow. That's lucky. He vanished. I didn't even know he could move from... Oh, he just moved over there a bit. Okay. Is this a ladder to kick down? No. Look, I tell you what, you stupid sage. It's time for your life to end. Just... Look, just... Just don't fight it. Just don't fight it. What is this? He moved again? Where? Where? Oh, so he just moves back and forth once he gets to the bridge. And yeah, I don't know if it's he or he or she. I don't really care, he's gonna die either way. Bastard. Get down, get down! Give me that crystal scroll. Well, there's the douchebag I was thinking of. Alright, let's um... Uh, let's do the hidden room. Shriving stone? Yeah, yeah, let's do the hidden room then call it for this part. I think that'll be... pretty good. IMO. Two summons in this episode. That's pretty surprising. Although, not surprising that they both failed. Not surprising at all. God, I hope I don't die here. That would upset me unreasonably. But yeah, it's another. Is he going to turn around, you think? But yeah, it's another uh, Outrider Knight from Irithyll. I don't know if you can backstab them, actually. But I don't want to risk it. No, buddy. I'm really low on Estus, though. Whoa, got to back away a bit. Come on, do you have, like, stupid-ass breath attack? Ah, oh, I was just hoping I could stun him to death then. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Oh shit. Wow, that was really close. But yeah, you get their set from that. Which is pretty cool because it's a really nice looking set, I think. As I said earlier, there's lots of nice silver armor in this game. Which suits me just fine. And Soul Stream, awesome sorcery. Basically, you shoot a giant laser beam out. For a few seconds. Uh... Yeah, we're going to call it right here. Sorry it's been a bit of a weird episode, but next time we'll continue with the Grand Archives. Actually, you know what? I'll read the item description of the stuff first. 
armour of an Irithyll outrider knight, enveloped in a dimly cool air. The knights were given the eyes of the pontiff, but the eyes transformed them into savage, raving warriors. Warriors who only knew how to serve as mindless guards. Indeed. Is it the same for all of their stuff? Yeah, okay, it is. Nice. Okay. My name is Alex, I am the Silvermont. I will see you guys next time for more Dark Souls 3. Ciao. Try and cast a spell. Go on, try. Ba -ba 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 That's what you get. I'm in a fire keeper.